So uh, I'm I'm dressed in a very like uh, I'm I wore this outfit on purpose. Right. Uh, I'm wearing a breezy shirt. Uh -huh. uh, because I can wear a crop top because my waist is so short and it's just like a normal length shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, and I'm wearing my most comfortable pants with the. I love those. And, oh, they're so. They're just like pajamas, but they look like dress they look pants. Classy. Oh my god, it's all I've ever wanted is to be comfortable at all times. <laughs> Classy, comfortable. Uh, but, so, but somebody in chat noticed, they're like, is that wires or does Kathleen have a rib tattoo? And in fact, I do, and I will in fact show it off without any need for challenges, so ah. we don't have, but if you're impressed by my incredible pain tolerance, because I have a funny, I have a funny, I have a funny pain tolerance story, you can see that I actually have a yep. really big tattoo down there. And, and I have a... I, I love this tattoo because I know what it's a reference to. Yeah. <laughs> it's a reference to an album cover. Yep. And if you can guess the album cover in chat, that's a... It's a it's by an album where the lead singer does the art and the lead singer's a big fan of muka. Yeah. So you can see it's a it's a feather. But I have a I have a very high pain tolerance and so I have two funny stories about my pain tolerance. As long as I'm getting this tattoo done, my friend Hillary's actually doing it on me. And mm. uh, at, you know, it's very, very painful to have it is a baroness. Yeah, Phoenix uh, Miller with the band name uh, and hippity boppity with the uh, album. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyhow. So I'm getting the tattoo done, and it turns out after after you get uh, enough adrenaline going through your system, you just start to shake. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, so I'm sitting there, and my leg is shaking uncontrollably because she's doing the top part, yeah. and she's just like, and I'm just like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. This is so painful. I have other tattoos, but this is beyond painful because it's like right up at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know my leg shaking uncontrollably, and Hillary is like, huh? You know what? Most people would have started crying by now. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary's hardcore. Yes, Hillary is very hardcore. I, is she coming to visit at all this year? I think I, she might stop by for a few minutes. Graham was asking about it in Slack? Question yeah. mark. So hopefully that, she comes up. All right, cool. We're yeah, on the same she, page. She's supposed to touch this. She was supposed to touch this up for me, and I've been avoiding her because it hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we'll um, have to get her to come on not Alpha Flight. But my legendary pain tolerance also hoisted my petard. I was telling the story of Paxton earlier, and I'll tell it again. For the, this is a this is an old desert bus story. So it turns out I've had a baby. And when you have a baby, they tell you, oh, it's the worst pain. It's literally the metric at which all pain is, is, is measured against. And I'm like, okay, well, I have a pretty high pain tolerance. But even though I have a high pain tolerance, I'm even prepared for extreme pain. So I'm starting, so I, as like when you are pregnant, eventually your body decides not to be pregnant anymore. <laughs> uh, and you start, you start getting contractions. It for you. Uh, uh, you, you hard, start having contractions, and they, those are quite painful. They're like menstrual cramps plus is how I would describe them. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, you know, I'm there, and I'm just like, you know, going, uh, hmm, oh, this is quite uncomfortable. But, you know, they said it would be very painful, and it's not that bad. That's fine. So uh, eventually I'm like, oh, maybe I should start getting ready to go to the hospital. So I have a shower, and then I'm like, oh, I should touch up my eyebrows in case somebody takes my photo. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, you know, bent over the sink being like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually we get, to the, we get to the point where I'm like, okay, I think I'm in a considerable amount of pain. But I'm not sure yet. Graham, call the BC nurses line to check. Uh, <laughs> and then eventually they're like, no, go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, and then, and then, and then, you know, Graham's dad comes to take us to the hospital. And then we get stuck in traffic because there's been a terrible traffic accident. Uh, yeah, the crawl. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the call would crawl. There'd been a horrible accident at McKenzie. And we were in traffic for half an hour. And I'm like, and I'm sitting there, and I'm trying not to swear in front of Graham's dad. But I'm like, got the, the holy bus handle in a car. I don't know what it's actually called, but will handle it flips down. I mean, I know what I call him, but I can't say it on stream. Oh, that's the holy bus handle, yeah, exactly. right? Bus handle. You know, so I've got the holy bus handle, and I'm just like, <clears throat> I think this is not going well. Um, I think I need to go to the hospital now. The, some sort of instinctual thing is telling me that yeah. I should go. Yeah. So we call an ambulance. We, we they, no longer have time for traffic. Yeah, I call an ambulance. I get taken to the hospital. Uh, it turns out I was really only in labor for about six hours, so my body is nothing if not efficient at all times and in all jobs it does. <laughs> uh, and uh, so I get to the hospital, and I'm just like, I am in a considerable amount of pain. And the nurses are like, you are literally ready to give birth. Uh, and I was like, can I have some drugs? And they're like, we can't give you drugs until your doctor gets here. And I'm like, where's my doctor? <laughs> and they're like, he's stuck in a traffic jam. <laughs> so the, the same traffic jam. Yeah. 
You cut uh, him off, it turns out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the ambulance moving his car to the way slowed him down, apparently, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, so they're like, how do you feel about laughing gas? I'm like, I've always wanted to do laughing gas. I'm so excited. Turns out laughing gas sucks and is not worth it. Uh, so I was really disappointed. Good and then I had a baby. Uh, yeah, about 20 minutes after I got to the hospital. So, pew, fired right out of there. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they're like, how did you not know you were in labor? And I'm like, I was told it was very painful. They're like, at what point was that not painful? And I'm like, I mean, I've had some big tattoos. And they're like, what is wrong with you? And, that, and yeah. that's how you get slapped by a nurse. Yeah. No. Uh, 